But if we go to Caleb, yes. which is an interesting piece, I've called it 2011, but I'm aware of the fact that you started working on many of these pieces earlier, and this, earlier, yes. yeah, yes. and that this is a, that you've put this together in 2011, but it incorporates <laughs> earlier mm -hmm. work. Um, now, there's quite a lot of interesting androgyny in this in the fragments that constitute this mm -hmm. piece. I mean, this kind of an image here. Yeah. So, um, what, you know, the polymorphously perverse, the sense of a body that is, has no fixed gender identity. Mm -hmm. Do you, could you tell us a little bit about that and perhaps a little bit about this, this work and the whole photogenetic thing we might want to move on to in terms of technical stuff as well? This was a number of years back, and I was totally disabled at that point, and I was not able to uh, really walk at that point. Not that I'm doing much better, but I can move now. At that point, I was unable to. And well, the best I could do is what every artist does, uh, whether they put a pencil in their mouth and, uh, and draw, or mm. paint with a brush in their feet, or whatever. And I still have my hands, so I, I, was, I had some children's uh, Crayola, Play-Doh, whatever it is. And, and I was just doing sculptures, yay big. I had no idea. There was nothing, what was I thinking? I was thinking that I cannot sit this way for hour after hour without mm -hmm. doing something. And so I made, spent the summer making many, many sculptures. Didn't have a clue what I was going to do with them. At the end of the summer, I took all the sculptures and I put them into many shopping bags, brought them back to the studio, and they stayed there for a number of years. I seem to have a trick, <laughs> that trick of leaving them someplace <laughs> for many years and then reclaiming them. And I did not know how to use a computer. There was no way I wanted to use a computer. I don't come from that generation. I considered myself a dinosaur, very happy that I was a dinosaur. And I, part that I didn't like about computers was that I was going to get email, and I did not want email. I mean, this is one way of saying, go away, and I don't want email, and I don't want to hear or <coughs> respond. And then I was uh, matched up with someone. Uh, I had to, I was donating a print for a benefit. And I was matched up with this printmaker, and he did by way of a computer. And I just sat next to him. I gave him the drawing that I sort of wanted. And we sat there, and he just kept pushing buttons. And <laughs> everything I would ask for this or that, within seconds, I had what I was asking for, where it would take me months to get this on one of my works, to change it, to get to another space, to change to another color. And when I came away from there, you know, and he said to me, he said, you know, I, you're the only artist that's ever sat next to me that way and gave me so many wows. <laughs> I couldn't stop saying, wow, wow. It was magic. What, it was more than magic. Mm. And so I went to the Apple workshop thinking, okay, I'm going to, <laughs> I don't use a computer. Sat there for several weeks in the workshops. Couldn't, <laughs> couldn't figure out a thing. I did learn how to turn it on. I learned that there was this thing called Photoshop. I learned all kinds of things, mm -hmm. but didn't know how to do any of them. Mm -hmm. And uh, one day on the street, I was very, very frustrated about this whole thing. And one day, uh, walking on the street, I met someone that I knew from a while back, and she was just let go of her job. She worked at an ad agency and worked computers, and she knew how to work these uh, things. So I said, would you like a job with me? I said, I don't know quite what I want to do. I do know I want to learn the computer. I don't know what I want to do with it. Mm -hmm. And she said, no, gladly. And the two of us, and don't ask me why, I pulled out all the shopping bags. I put all the, uh, the, figures. the figures on there. She started to give me some of the basics of a computer. I could turn it on. I had email. <laughs> and um, I started to scan the sculpture uh, right into the scanner. So you didn't photograph them and then play no, with the at photograph? No, first, at first I, I had no sense. I didn't know what I was doing. You know, it's wonderful yeah. Yeah. when you have material that you've never handled, you don't know anything about. I had this computer, this, this thing, this instrument that I know nothing about. And it was exciting because here I was doing something that I have a clue what I was going to do. And so put the sculptures all out. I started to scan them into the scanner, put a big black trash bag over it so no light would get in. And I got some incredible images on the screen. And then tried to print them out, and none of the colors would print true, and none of the colors, and they were wonderful on the screen when you tried to print them out. I got something, I don't know what I got. It was like mush, different mm -hmm. weird colors you get. They were not usable. So I knew that, that was a mistake. So I thought, aha, I've done that before. Photograph the sculptures. 
So I set up a little staging, a little person am, and they, I sat each one on the, on the stage and would sit them anyway. And I wasn't interested in great photographs. I wasn't interested in great posing. I just know that myself or anyone else could sit them down, pose them, light them, photograph them. Mm -hmm. So now I was rid of the object. Mm -hmm. I just had the photograph. And at that point, with the photograph, I could then start feeding them, scanning them, and then I started to collect uh, 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 wigs so I could use that for hair. And I, I, I'm always collecting images, so I had many images, you know, eyes and ears and different. <clears throat> and for me, you know, I always had that very simple line where it's a cartoon line, and you know, one line should make the eye look one way, uh, another line will make the mouth look angry. And, and you know, as a child, when you're doing these very simplistic images. And so that's what started to happen. And they took on a whole life of their own. And I mean a life of their own. I found, like for Caleb, I found this hat. You know, and everyone, all the kids around were wearing these hats. Actually, they had glasses, but you know, wearing the knitted caps over their eyes. Uh, all that bling, everyone was wearing a huge amount of bling. And it was, it was the kind of thing where it, um, it was what, it, it is, it's whatever is around me. And I, and I think you guys were making fun of me last night because I knew about Lady Gaga. <laughs> 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 and, why, and why would I? Uh, <clears throat> so that, you know, I, I am sort of, and I love YouTube. And I, I mean, the computer now has made me totally, you know, not just a different person, but it's a, mm. made everything turn around.